love seat and that little car back there have something in common. Both were built for two, but it was a much larger group that gathered around a Pontiac Fiero about this time three years ago to provide an extraordinary gift. For those in the YouTube generation who've even heard of it, Pontiac Fiero GT. It's connected like Jordache jeans to the 1980s. Want to see something really exciting? But when he stumbled on one on the internet, manufactured before he was born. Fiero GT. Tyler Shipman no. fell hard for a Fiero. With the motor in the back and the two seats and stuff, and they drive really, really sweet. In August, Tyler had his senior portraits taken with his 86 Fiero. He just turned 18. And then we got the results back and found out that I had that cancer. Two failed rounds of chemotherapy, 15 radiation treatments. It's called synovial sarcoma. And now Tyler's home near Frazee, Minnesota, is also his hospice. And doctors told him that you can either die from this cancer in a hospital with every treatment under the sun, or you can go home and try and enjoy what time you have left. Try to keep my mind on something else, like the car. The car. Tyler's Fiero. Nice as he'd polished it up for the photos. It was a bit of a mess. He'd paid just $150 for the car he'd been slowly restoring. But slowly was no good anymore. Hey, guys, I'm a total Fiero head. As Tyler shared his story on an Internet Fiero forum. I have a... 86 Fiero GT that I've been slowly fixing up. And while now here I sit at the hospital with cancer and they can't treat it. And not knowing how long I'll be here, they say could be till spring or longer or shorter, they do not know. I'm trying to find some way to get it restored before I, I'm gone. A forum member, screen name, Hulky U, my BFF, soon wrote back, I'll do what I can. Hulky was not alone in that pledge for long. Yeah. <laughs> Three weeks and two days after Tyler's internet post, the parking lot looks like a mid-80s Pontiac dealer at Frazee Auto Body and Glass. I don't think this has been cleaned since 1986. Mid-engine two-seaters aren't typically classified as family cars. They look a little better. But name a better word than family. Run, Forrest, run. For two dozen strangers who joined together to do this. Never spoke to him, never chatted with him, but just, just read his story and something had to be done. Stuart Lowry flew to Minnesota from Claiborne, Texas, just south of Dallas, Fort Worth. A reupholster in the seat. John uh, Panici flew from there. West Palm Beach, Florida. I'm from downtown Pennsylvania. It's Rick Manning and uh, Chris Antuzzi. Uh, Colfax, California. Couldn't afford to fly uh, to Minnesota. Um, I'm pulling out the injectors. Till other Fiero owners caught wind. Indianapolis, yes, sir. <laughs> and if by magic, tickets appeared. The excuse is the Fiero, but we're here for Tyler. All of them gathered with Tyler's Fiero in Karen and Dave Gray's body shop. He wanted it yellow, so he thought, we'll yeah. make it yellow. <laughs> all of them here, except the guy who started it all, Hulky you. My BFF, Hulky, couldn't make it this weekend. I'm a sergeant in the Pennsylvania Army National Guard. He was working in Al Kut, right Iraq. That's when I asked him how old he was, and I found out he was 18, and I was like, I had to do something. I, I, it, was, it was a calling. Like that right there is a work of art. Hulky, wow. also known as Sergeant Andrew yeah. Weigel, that is beautiful. has yeah, five Fieros of his own like at home and a son a year younger. Than Tyler. What do you think of your car, Tyler? It's looking really nice. Tyler, I'm praying for you every day. Excuse me, Pete. From a rock, Sergeant Weigel had put out an internet call for some parts. Yeah, and then both parts okay. and people started arriving in Frazee. The entire town of Frazee can say all of these strangers showed up and did this for one of our own. So there is hope in the world. Tyler was at home asleep at 2 a.m. when his engine woke up. It's always a good sound. They had started at 7 on a Saturday morning. Two dozen volunteers with $4,000 worth of donated parts worked 24 hours without sleep to be ready at sunrise on Sunday. He was up at 6 this morning. When Tyler 
arrive. Just goes to show you how excited he was to get here. And a good share of the town, too. Ladies and gentlemen, the Tyler Project. As Tyler smiled his approval, 6,000 miles away, an American soldier on a webcam <laughs> gave a cyber sign-off as well. Yeah, he's happy. <laughs> <laughs> Plans had called for Tyler's father to take his son for a ride, till Tyler decided that wasn't going to do. There we go. <laughs> There's no words to describe what it means. When I saw him get in the car, it was just... I'm speechless, I guess. I don't know. Three weeks and now three days past Tyler's internet post. <laughs> Two dozen sleepless Fiero owners. That was worth it. <laughs> now fully understand why they came. How's it going? Nice, really good. Tyler's family will keep praying for a miracle. And why not? Yeah, this, is, this is awesome. When they've been granted one already. Thank you doesn't really touch what they've done for him. Tyler's family did not get that second miracle. He passed away on Valentine's Day 2010. But the story does not end there. Chris Cleaver was one of the organizers of that amazing weekend. And it still goes on. Uh, we go back every year. We have a yearly car show to celebrate Tyler's life and to raise uh, money for the local scholarship. All the way back to Frazee. Correct. And Tyler's family is very much a part of this? Yes, they are. Uh, they welcome us back every year with open arms. Behind the garage. Hi. Couldn't ask for a better, a Pretty cool. better family in the community. Hi. How are you? Oh, thank you for coming. <laughs> You're welcome. It's so good to meet you. It's good to meet you, too. Nellie has become an adoptive mother slash sister to all of us. Uh, we go up there, and she jumps in and into the uh, fun and festivities along with everybody else. The whole family has jumped in feet first into the Fierro community. It really, in the end, was never about the car, was it? No. It was about the people involved. It was about Tyler, about helping him focus on something other than his illness. Job well done. Thank you. Hey, I've got a thought. Can you help me with something? Sure. on our way to Red Wing. Now we have to change cow. Where the spirit of generosity continues. Everybody's got something to give. <laughs> then, back to the Twin Cities to catch up with a duck and a truck. When the land of 10,000 stories continues.